everyone in this room. Uh, this, I think, is emblematic of the American way. When citizens go to their legislators about a grievance that has affected their lives. We as Orthodox Christians in the United States, under the jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, are aggrieved when the religious freedom of the Ecumenical Patriarchate is constricted halfway around the world, yet because we are under the jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, we as Orthodox Christians also experience that same asphyxiation of our own religious freedom. So when our legislators in the state of New York, the premier state, I might say, I might say of the United States, the capital of the world, this city, stand up unanimously in the Senate and near unanimously in the House, in the Assembly, call for religious freedom for the ecumenical patriarchate. That is a resounding statement and resounding endorsement of religious freedom for our Holy Mother Church. And we are very, very grateful to you, sir, sir, and madams. And we're very grateful, and we look forward to continue. We have a few more states to go, but New York is with us. California is with us, Texas, so we're very, very proud. And New Jersey, I must say, was the first state. So with those <laughs> remarks and the constant encouragement of His Eminence, the Archbishop, and personal representative of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, encouraging and counseling us and guiding us every step of the way, we're very grateful to you, Your Eminence, for your constant concern and love. I conclude my remarks by triumphantly saying, Christos One more item I want to point out. Uh, Father Alex and myself, uh, in my office on Tuesday, we had the visit of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, John Boehner. And we spoke to him about religious freedom in Turkey. And uh, he agreed to follow out to uh, cooperate. You want to say if you uh, no, nope, that's fine. Thank you very much. Speaks? No, nope, that's fine. I agree with you fully. He, he agreed to cooperate, and he recognizes in the past that uh, we did have 100 percent cooperation, and he's going to try real hard. And having the speaker on the house on our side, I think is another plus mark for our people. Yeah, Eminence. Thank you. thanks for the terrific work done by Mr. Skelos, Mr. Janovic, and the two ladies, Arabella and Nicole, in obtaining 100% signatures and 96% signatures corresponding. And it's a good thing to be here with a number of the press and partners in the presence of race of the two Consul General of Greece and Cyprus, as they have in, in all events, and distinguished members of our community. I was the last two days in the Patriarch, in the Patriarch and he knew that this meeting would happen today. In fact, he asked me to stay one more day, not one day as I was there, but one more day. I said, there is something important on Thursday afternoon. He said, how important, you can't stay one more day here in the factory. I said, no, I have to be there, which means here at this moment. Because this is an important moment when we have from the honorable representatives of the government and of our area to have the, uh, these two letters defending in such a strong and elegant way concept of the reality of freedom as a necessity also for our ecumenical patriots, religious freedom. I remember the feeling when we were at the office of the patriarch the day before yesterday. And as we are 
discussing, here comes a strong voice, obviously from a minaret, clearly in the typical, mostly the way, things from Korat. And I thought, you know, have this strong voice piercing through the windows and the doors, as we are discussing about religious freedom, it's a free voice, and it deserves to be free in order to express a faith. But this patriarch is not free to have a school in which a voice teaching will be heard. It's a total silence. And it's a total silence in a place which is sacred as a religious place and educational important because it's a place, used to be a place, of the training of our priests in Turkey. It was a very painful thing. The voice on the one hand from the minaret, the silence, forced silence, imposed silence on Haki. And uh, as we were discussing it, the Patriarch again and again expressed his thanks to the Akros. He always mentioned the Akros by names. Dr. Liberakis is a name that comes always. John Kasimatidis is another name. And today, Mr. Kasimatidis, you're surprised. It's the first time that he offered for me the longest ever speech. <laughs> you are known for monolectic, although you are from an island, not from Laconia, for laconic speaking, but today you were very expressive, which is not accidental. It was because you love the subject. You are involved with the subject, passionately involved with the subject. Sometimes nothing <coughs> is But that's not accidental because it deserves. The subject of the religious freedom of the patriarch is <coughs> very important. And this patriarch, he was there. We went directly from the airport to the patriarch gate. 10.30, 11 in the morning. And the butter has been there, seeing people, seeing committees, working with meetings. <coughs> we get immediately engaged in discussion about a number of issues. We continue a very rather quick lunch, just the very necessary elementary time to eat, just without. And then continue. At 4.30, he said, well, we are expecting a visit from the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Barrett, in terms of years, he said, at 5 o'clock. He said, don't you need some space to stop? He said, no. Well, you know what? 4.30 is the Vesper, sir. Let's go together. I said, fine. So we stop the discussion and go to the best side. At 5 o'clock we finish. Here comes the visitor. We finish around 6.30. I said, now, what is next for you? He said, what is next for me is of no importance. You go for one hour to rest and you tell before you leave tomorrow. I said, fine. But now that's the daily program of this patriarch. From very early in the morning, late in the evening, continuously, even times when you have not to do something, or not just to eat. Even there, you can see that he has to think, he has to tell you, don't forget to do that, and you know, make some sign to someone else. How about this other thing? It's a working, it's a continuously working. And this happened 
under not the best conditions in terms of us here. I mean, we, do, we have that, and we know that we are in totally free place. Do whatever we want, say whatever we want. Nobody is going to do anything, but it is not there. There is, there was something very interesting, because I asked someone else if, if they are bothered by some of the extremist elements there. It happened in the past with threats. They say it's a good thing that they are in jail. Because that's one of the good things that happened. This so-called dark state, or deep state, whatever you call it, uh, finally, the main people of that kind of, among them, the so-called three gray wolves, etc., they are in jail. And so, at least the Padre, this year, when they had the ceremony of the throne of the cross in the Kerathos Sea, they didn't anyone but them. So there seemed to be something progressive. They count, our people count on the uh, upcoming elections when the chances for at least opening of heart seem to be increased. So we have to continue to pray. And I think that events like this today, not the, not the meeting today, but the content, which is the two letters, uh, could be very, very important. In addition to all other decisions and letters from most of the states in the United States, could be very instrumental in changing the climate and offering more space for breathing in terms of religious freedom to the patriarch and the ecumenical patriarch. Again, our deep thanks for the terrific work done so far at the podium. And uh, it's important also that we could say this result here in New York was something that is a result of the authority and the reputation of a person like Mr. Skelos. But it is also the result of the enthusiasm and the passion of the young generation, of the fresh women, not fresh, fresh women. I think we have to be more correct. <laughs>